Question is, though, should we even be reopening schools? That's certainly not easy to answer. Public health officials, doctors, scientists, they're looking at the data to try and decide if it's safe to do so. They look at case numbers and something we talk a lot about on this show, which is percent positivity. Ted Investigates Courtney Robinson has been digging into the pediatric cases in our area and statewide and the percentage of people testing positive in Tampa Bay, which is in the double digits. Percent positivity is an important number. It's the number of positive cases divided by everyone tested. It's a good way to know if we're doing enough testing. In Hillsborough today, 16.3%. In Pinellas, 10.2%. Now look at this. This is the pediatric case report from July 10th for children 17 and younger. Hillsborough County, 1,405 cases. Percent positivity, 31.1%. Pinellas County, 631 cases. Percent positivity, 40.3%. But is that a fair number to consider in reopening schools? Experts say no. So that is really just a reflection of the fact that just the most severe children are the ones that get tested and the other kids don't. Dr. Mike Tang, who studies viruses at USF, agrees. No, when I see that percent positivity, I, I really do think that there's a selection bias. And I really think that's a function of not testing our kids as widely as we test adults. They say more kids need to be tested, and this rise that we've seen in pediatric cases statewide since June 12th and in children across Tampa Bay does not show children who are asymptomatic because Robert says they haven't been tested. They say the pediatric case numbers combined with the percent positivity in the overall population is best. So using percent positivity, I wouldn't use. Using case numbers, however, can be much more relevant. So to say we have this many cases among children in Hillsborough County, that's a much, much more relevant um, number to use and to make the case. Should we reopen schools? I think we need to open schools. Um, we have to do it smartly and carefully. Again, if you don't test, you don't know who's infected, so you don't know who to look out for. Our case numbers in our local area are really high. Over the last couple of days, some of the people that were really on board of opening schools have clarified their statements that what they meant was opening schools in areas that had low community transmission. 